Hello, hello, and welcome back, everybody. A brand new FTB Infinity Light. Oh, man, it's taking over the channel, isn't it? Almost every day, it's been insane. I love you all. Thank you so much for the love and support, etc., etc., etc. All right, one quick note. Um, I've found it really useful to make obsidian in the smeltery in this pack. So I set up just a little system with a redstone clock on the faucet into the casting basin to give us some obsidian. Now we need obsidian for many reasons. And the main reason is our storage problems um, are bad at the moment. In case you guys didn't know this, <laughs> we have storage issues. So what we need to make is as many quantum storage as possible and they require obsidian right so haha -ha. oh iron okay well we can get more iron a little bit later I don't think I have any in here do I no I don't oh I do I got lots of iron we got the iron we got the iron all right let's just do some of this because I don't think we'll need all of that much one two three there we go Perfect. All right. Good. I'm going to take these back with me and clear the crafting grid. So that gave us 14 quantum storage units. And my main goal for these is I was debating compacting drawers and some of the other stuff as well. But I think we're going to need the storage capacity of the quantum storage units instead. So that's kind of my thought process there. Now, where do I want to put this? I kind of want to put it where this water stuff is, but I don't think that's a good idea. Instead, this is going to be our processing line there. Why don't we arrange to put it right over here? Uh, this might work okay. Might clear this out a little bit. We do have the room to do so. Um, I just haven't because I've been a little bit concerned about hitting above, but I think we're good to go, at least for a little bit like that. So I think that's okay. Now I'm going to replace all the stuff a little bit later, uh, but for right now, that should be good enough for us to at least start placing these guys down. Now the thing is, is we need the refined storage to make its way over here. And I think, okay, that one was the the wall okay that's fine we'll replace that and that's the wall as well okay good finding your limits and your boundaries is very important okay all right so we can run cable refined storage cable over to here now what we're going to do is we are just going to run it straight up um, now that is the outside so if we're running the cable I guess we'll run the cable underneath anyways. That's probably the better way to go here. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking so. We'll be running it under here anyways. Um, so it won't be a major concern about the sides. Correct, okay, good. Um, I actually just want to, I might as well get the stuff that we have. We already have them. They're around here somewhere. Uh, planks. There we go. I already got a whole bunch of these chisel wood planks anyways, so we might as well put them in place and get that done uh, so that we don't have to worry about it again later. So, boom. We're just going to slap these guys down, just like so. But I'm going to leave the back open. Okay. Now, the quantum storage units are going to go just like so, all the way up, like so. Good. Uh, you know what? I might do right here as well. Because we're coming up from the bottom, we should be able to pull that off. So we'll do those ones there. Uh, get rid of the torch that I placed down. Okay. Good. Uh, we can replace these as well. Okay. And then just we have the backside of stuff that we need to worry about. Uh, that's not really going to work there either. I'm just going to slap it down like so. And we could also probably get away with right beside it there as well. Now, I'm not sure. It looks like we might be able to do one more level up. 
Oh, it's very close. Uh, we could probably fine tune that or just leave that one empty. So there we go. We got our quantum storage units in place. Now my goal is to start getting all of this stuff into specific quantum storage units so that we can continue to produce everything. All right, so this is going to be our tin one. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, we need our lead. Sure, we'll do some lead here. Very nice. All the things need to find a home in the quantum storage. All right, so this is going to be helpful. We obviously as well need iron. Um, iron we can put right there. Now, I'm wondering actually, is there a at quantum? Okay, there's no like labels or anything like that um, from the quantum storage mod. Signal label, no. I guess we could just do signs. Um, signs might be a way to go. Overall, that's probably the best way to go for this, is just putting signs on them for which one's which. It might not be necessary, though, anyways. So, uh, we need one for osmium. Good. We need for redstone, obviously. There's so many different things here that we need to get done. So, I'm going to quickly go through and put all the stuff where it needs to go and organize a little bit and then we can kind of sort of go from there we're going to actually turn off the quarry just so that we catch up with things because this is all backlogged with tons of resources um, but yeah so i'll be back once we have these guys all set up all right, so we got a bit of a setup. I still have this. Uh, I'm still not sure why uranium ore is going in here. Uh, it's not whitelisted at all. So why is it ending up in this chest? I do not understand. Do not understand. Why are you there? Why are you there? You're not supposed to be there. Anyways, um, so that's a bit of a problem. I don't know how to get it out of there. But as you can see over here, stuff is coming in and it's automatically going right back out again. Perfect. Coal and all that kind of stuff. This chest is staying 100% empty. As we're getting anything else, it's basically automatically being shipped out. It's good. It's good. This is what we wanted. So, for the bulk of it we now have in quantum storage, right? So things like nickel, appetite, aluminum, you name it, there's quite a few different items here. Redstone, uh, you know, 13 point whatever, iron, etc. So it's all pretty good on that front. Um, do I, we don't want that there. That's better. Okay. I, d I just don't like it having it all connected. I don't know. So we have a decent amount of ingots. I mean, 3.6k tin, 3,000 copper. We got 3,000 of a lot of this stuff, which is awesome. And then we have a couple that are actually empty as well. So for those ones, for example, let's throw in some lapis. We haven't been getting a ton of lapis, but you know what? For what we are getting, we might as well automatically sort it. So now, any lapis that lands in here should automatically get pulled out. Pretty sweet. The system is working well. Uh, that's the main thing that I can say here. So, as we put things in, it's all getting distributed correctly. And then we have a bit of a bulk chest here for all the other stuff, right? So the things like these saplings and some wood and, you know, flint, etc. All right, so those are going to come in anyways, and then we can eventually start deleting them uh, based on specifics. So we have a bit of a storage system here. Uh, these guys here actually need to move over to there, and I think I've decided that I'm actually going to move these over to this wall here, but we'll have to also move our water mills. So those are things that I want to get done. But before I do all that, I want to have access to all of this stuff in our refined storage system. So if you look up here, we do not have any iron. 
right? We have the quartz enriched iron, but no iron from down below. So what we need to get is we need to get different things. Now, there's different settings that you can do here. So you can actually get it JEI synchronized, all right? Um, you can look up all the things, refined storage, for example, and you can see, okay, external storage is the th item that I'm looking for. So external storage, beautiful. So external storage uh, requires some destruction cores, construction cores, improved processors, some cables, and a few other things. So we can actually just go in and say, okay, we need six destruction cores, we need six construction cores, and go. How many of these can we actually make? We ran out of chests. Oh man, really? You know what? Let's do the other recipe instead. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one so much faster for creating chess. Um, okay, good, and let's make a few more. Okay, there's our six, beautiful. Now, we do also want to get some more cable, uh, but we don't have any redstone yet, so let's solve that problem here first. Also, this is also gonna work as a dump chest. We'll be able to dump whatever we want in there, and it'll sort it out accordingly, all right? So, first things first, let's find the redstone, for example. I'm going to need a few of these just to get the cables over, but we can now place that on here and we can change this priority to be 100, for example. And there's all these other types of things. Now we can set this like that. It's in whitelist mode, so that will only put in redstone into that storage unit. It also has a high priority, so that means that, well, pretty much that's what we want. Simple as that. So I'm going to go around and set all of these uh, accordingly with their correct whitelist and priority. And then that should help and start us on our way. We also need to get the cables to run everything over to this point. Okay, so let's quickly get some cables. I want to at least get these hooked up and ready to go. So boom. One, two, three. That should be enough cables for now. Along with those, 39. Yeah, I think we'll be okay for right now. That's enough cables. I think we're good. So let's run them accordingly. Um, we need to run them from upstairs. So we need to find a way to go from our controller up here, which... As bad as it sounds, it's kind of in a bad spot with this drawer here. So I think I'm actually just going to remove this top drawer. And I kind of want it to go out the back, but we already have the power coming out that way. So we're just going to run it down the back side like that. I think that that's a little bit cleaner. And then hopefully, oh no. Hopefully we can make the turn okay there. Um, that's the next step. So let's head on down there and get our wiring. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, no, we aren't actually because of this, which we can remove. Okay, good. So we're going to just run this over. Uh, so that's got to go down because this, remember, is taking up that block space, right? Um, we can remove these to keep it kind of a little bit nicer uh, and tuck it over as close as we can anyways to the side and kind of just keep it pretty straightforward here and go up. Okay, good. So now if we go upstairs here because we've set up redstone, we've set up uh, iron, and there you go. We have access to those items. Sweet. That is perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, I'm going to set up some more external storages on all of these quantum storages. So again, I'm treating these like a... Um, I'm treating them like a deep storage unit is basically how this is working. All right, so that's what we are looking at here. So we got osmium, good, priority of 100. Excellent. And as you can see, that's how much it stores. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, this guy is gold and priority 100. The reason I do 100 is just it's a bigger number 
that uh, I probably won't ever get up to with my priority system. And we always want the items going into these before anything else. So if I actually take out a bit of copper, so we're down to 2.8k. If we actually take out a bit of copper and we put it back in the system from up here, it should end up back in the deep storage unit and not in the drive. All right, so that's the main goal there. Anyways, I need more external storages because, uh, yeah, we need more. We need more, and we also need to move over all of this stuff. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to turn off the quarry and work on moving some of this stuff around. All right, so I moved my water mills over to this mountain over here, um, and a beautiful person, subscriber, uh, very loyal to the channel as well, great person, uh, suggested this setup for the water mills. I think I did something like this, but I think I actually expanded it out one more even, um, but you can actually get five in the same amount of space. So we're generating a little bit more power, and of course, you can just keep tearing that up. Uh, it works pretty good. Uh, of course, I have the slabs on here just so it doesn't freeze because we're high up. Um, overall, we're doing pretty good. But I wanted to show you guys, you ladies and gentlemen, that. Because, uh, yeah, this is now gone. Yay! So now we can work towards uh, putting our machines over here and getting this process set up over here for our gases and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to work nicely. And I moved them from over here, uh, for example, which means we can now move all of these over and then rehook it all up. And I made this little bypass so that things can automatically go to where they need to uh, with the quantum storage units. Overall, good things, and we're expanding on our storage capabilities quite dramatically at this point in time. So we'll place that guy up there. We're going to need more item conduits, though. That is for sure. So this is limestone, so that's going to be insert priority one, just like all the others. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Insert priority one. Insert priority one etc etc so uh i definitely need i think more item conduits uh we need one more for sure we can disable that now and kind of just keep it all looking perfect um i actually don't know if i have the conduits for this i don't think i do uh the binder uh anyways we are progressing along pretty good i feel on our quest to fix our our systems. So, yeah. Yeah, we need more conduit binder. So, not a big deal. And we have no none of the gravel or sand or anything like that hooked up yet. So, yeah. I got a lot of work to still pull off here. We got to get a ton of these external storages. And we're out of basics as well. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, how do I make those again? <laughs> printed basic iron and printed silicon. All right, yeah, I got a lot to do. So I'm going to uh, get to work. All right, so the setup is pretty much complete at this point. Uh, as you can see, we are not gaining anything. We are automatically transporting everything out. I think we're pretty good here. Uh, obviously, there's still a few things that we could probably you know, sort through or get around, like things like diamond and flint and, and a few other things that maybe we could put into drawers or something along those lines instead. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with our current progress here because, yeah, it seems to be working very well. The system seems to be working for me. So... Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm going to, like I said, slowly but surely work my way into some other things here. But uh, I have little complaints. So I think from here, next step is to set up some auto crafting and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and get things a little bit more automated 
for our system and setting up some of the processing patterns and getting more storage, etc. But what I want to try first is this feeder item from Dark Utilities. I always forget to go and feed my cows and sheep over there. So I really want to give that a try and see if it works. It's supposed to work correctly as far as I know. Um, but I've never tried it. So let's give it a try. A feeder. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's try this thing out and see how it works or if it works and all that kind of stuff. So if I place this down and then I fill it with wheat. Okay, okay. Oh, interesting. So if you keep filling it with your item. Oh, oh, that works good. Oh, I like that. So it works like a little feeder unit. Okay, so it'll keep these guys uh, going at all times, probably, which is awesome. And the reason why I'm doing this, well, I need some food. <laughs> and I wanted to uh, give that a try. I heard of some other people giving it a try, so I figured why not us as well. Uh, so that leaves us with... That's good enough. I wonder what the range is on it. That's curious to me, what the range is and all that kind of stuff. But overall, that's going to work quite nicely for us. We now, by theory, have an amazing system in place, though. We are already at a point where... Is that going to let us get steak and chips? It does. It does, it does. Okay. Good. Uh, all right, good. So we got our steak and chips. Beautiful. Um, so that real, our system now is working terrific. We have everything that we'd want, pretty much, uh, for our automatic getting of resources. We have 281,000 cobble. We have all of our resources at our fingertips to basically make whatever we want. Now, let's see. We need to go back into refined storage here, I think. Um, and equally, I want to switch out this farm to ender pearls and eventually get rid of this farm as well. I, this whole system over here just really isn't doing it for me. Um, I might just try to drain it right on out. We're not using it at the moment. I'm not inputting any potatoes or anything. We have a ton. We've... Oh my. Oh my indeed. Okay. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of pumpkins. We got a lot of pumpkins. Okay. We need an upgrade. I think I have one here. Okay, good. Let's fix this quickly. I think I'm going to disable it anyways, but yeah. Uh-huh. Click. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, we're already almost full again. Anyways, that's fine. So we have a lot of pumpkin seeds, not a lot of potatoes. Uh, that's mainly because I never really implemented a system of getting potatoes back into here before the cart. So let's quickly do that. Um, and then maybe we can get this system running better again. I don't know. Maybe some sort of consistency type thing. Uh, so let's get... Let's get a couple stacks of potatoes here and cruise it on over and slap these in. We're also out of fertilizer. Oh, that was loud in my ears. Where is the carton? Where is the carton? Carton? Where you at? Where you at, carton? There it is. It's coming this way. Okay, good. Let's get down here. And see about if there's a way here. So we could try to pull the potatoes out before the hopper here with an item conduit, which I don't have on me. So we can item conduit it out and then back in, I guess. Um, that's probably the best way. So item conduit out and back in all at the same time. So let's grab some of that stuff and see what we can come up with there. 
because I'd really like to get this situated. So, um, auto selected. Okay, that's fine. Oh, not very many of those. All right. So, one upgrade, uh, a couple item conduits, and one filter. That should be enough to get things going and get this operational. So, actually, no, we're one item conduit short, aren't we? Um, so this guy here is going to say, we're going to have a insert with a higher priority here than here. Uh, that's going to be extract always active. This is going to be filtered to potatoes only so that we're getting the potatoes back into the farm, right? Or at least that's the plan. Uh, our cart's coming back. Okay, let's get one more item conduit here, which, oh, yes, that's right. Uh, we didn't actually make all the stuff here, so let's do a little bit of this. Good. And then I can make the item conduits. We need to get this down. And then, basically, what we're going to start doing here right away is some more auto-crafting, or automatically crafting of items because we're running into problems where it's just better to do so, if you know what I mean. Um, anyways, okay, let's take our conduits. Good, item conduit, get. Let's make a few of those. We have the additional resources if necessary. All right, let's fix this system uh, and improve on it. So we're still using the cart to make it work good. We have this set to a higher priority than this. So, by theory, the potatoes should first go back into the system here. Now, I don't think there's a way for me to test it until we actually get this operational. So, I think for now, we're just going to have to wait and see if it does... Uh, I guess we could bone meal some, couldn't we? We could do some quick fertilizer. Let's do some quick fertilizer. Fertilizer. Get... Uh, we need at least 64 for the farm, and then I have nine more here. Good. And let's give it a quick test and see what happens. Uh, because we have... We're not quite full there. That's good. Okay. Did it go into there first? I don't know. What are we at now? 59. We're at 59. Yeah, it's going back in there. Okay, good. Excellent. So that should now max it out. Or close to it. Perfect. Okay. We're going to add in the filter, uh, the fertilizer as well to keep this thing going. Hopefully that fixes our potato issue that we've been having. Um, of never having potatoes in the farm. And then any extra should come down into here and then go on the minecart, which I have not seen in a little bit, which is a little concerning. Uh, where are you, minecart? Oh, no, he's cruising around. I just must be missing him every time. Every time. So that solves that problem at the moment, hopefully with the potatoes as well. Just some fine-tuning and whatnot. Uh, usually involved with this stuff. So let's get our hopper. And I think I have some backup potatoes in here. Maybe I don't. Maybe we don't have any backup potatoes. I'm going to get a stack of backup potatoes. Just in case the system does fail us. Boom. And these can start going in there. To start producing ethanol. Which should... Kick on that. Very nice. These will start to fill up. Very good. All things working as intended. Nice and loud, as per normal. <laughs> but it's working. Yeah. And we're, we're generating. And then, by theory, we can slap this thing back on as well. But I don't have any storage over here at the moment. So I'm not turning on the excavator at this time. So we'll let that run, let it fill up the storage, um, and make sure our potato situation is good going forward. Other than that, I think we're doing very, very well. Um, 
let me double check the time on the video, see where we're at, and see where we can go from there. Yeah, so just what I thought, I mean, this video has taken me a very long time to make. Uh, moving all of your storage and everything takes time. But we are so much better off now that we have this set up appropriately and working appropriately that uh, we are in a much better position. Uh, I think overall we are heads and tails above where we were even last episode with all of our ores and everything getting auto processed we have the electrolytic separator over here doing its thing we have everything working according to plan and we have it all coming into a refined storage system so all in all good things I can put a few external storages on these drawers, and I think we can automate that pretty soon. I also want to automate some of the crafting and other things that we can do. So, lots to do. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.